You know, my daddy always used to say, every man has a devil, and you can't rest till you find him. That's right, friends. It's your main man, Z, here with Our Reviews Will Kill You. And we're going to talk a little bit about The Crow and the reboot. Now, I originally thought this may be a April Fool's joke. So I waited a couple days just to make sure it wasn't a joke. Because, you know, Pennywise is funny. <laughs> you know? Um, but we're going to get into it. We're going to give a little bit of casting news and talk a little bit about it. If you like what we do here, please be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps us grow the channel here. But we're going to talk about The Crow a little bit. The Crow, the 1994 movie, one of the pivotal movies in my childhood growing up. One of the most important movies to me. So quotable. So amazing. Mind-blowing. Love that movie so much. Brandon Lee, so tragic. Uh, Michael Winco plays Top Dollar. <laughs> Such a fantastic actor. What a great character. What an amazing soundtrack. I, pivotal soundtrack to my life. There's so many good songs on there. It's just unbelievable. Nine Inch Nails. Um, I think there's a Pantera song. I mean, there's just so much good goodness. There's an amazing Cure song on it. So good. Anyway, uh, I know, and I love City of Angels. City of Angels with Izzy Pop. I love that movie. I think it's a good, good movie. People don't like it that much, but I, I'm still a big fan. Um, Curve. What do you do, Curve? <laughs> I, I don't know. I like that one, too. It's kind of fun. It's got really good visuals. I know it was they were ed it was edited to uh, in, in a terrible way, but still, I enjoy it. There's a lot of iconic stuff in there. And what I do think is interesting is that The Crow is almost meant to be rebooted like of all the stories out there the crow really is they're always different stories it's a different life of each each time the crow's reincarnated it's a different person and kind of a different spirit of vengeance and i like that concept and i, I think it could be done well some of the reboots have not been good but let's talk about it and see how we feel about it bill skarsgård is to star in the crow reboot with, uh, who's the director here? Rupert Sanders is going to be directing. Now, this movie has been in production hell forever. Uh, there was supposed to be a 2019 Crow with, of all people, Jason Moa Moa. Is that even, it's mind-blowing. I actually watched before this video the test footage. You can see it out there somewhere. He looks really good, shockingly. And I don't know if he could pull it off. I don't know if he has that like weird sensitive side or like the the loner side. I don't know about that. But the test footage, I, I look great. I, I don't know why they canceled it. I really don't know. Uh, but now you have Bill Skarsgård. I, I, I like Bill Skarsgård. I think he's a really great background actor. I think he's really good as Pennywise. Amazing as Pennywise. But I'm a little nervous about this because he, I don't know. It's going to be really, really tough to say. Like, I'm not going to judge ahead of time. The one thing it, that's a little weird is it's being directed by Rupert Sanders, best known for doing Snow White and the Huntsman and Ghost in the Shell. Pretty sure he ruined his entire life dating Kirsten Stewart while they were making Snow White and the Hunt, Huntsman. Just throwing it out there. There's going to be a little bit of Hollywood gossip in this one, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, based on the indie comic from the late eighties, it was, uh, written and drawn, drawn by James O'Barr, really iconic, absolutely iconic. They're saying he's going to play Eric Draven again, which I'm not so sure. Like the, the whole point is you can tell different stories with the pro, which is kind of amazing. They're saying it's going to shoot in Prague in Munich. The budget's around $50 million. So it seems like it's starting to move. I don't know. The The original movie was released in 1994. Cult hit. Obviously, I love that movie. This, the second one I talked about, City of Angels, starred Vincent Perez in 1996. There was also Crow Salvation and Crow Wicked Prayer. There was Eric Mabius and 
Edward Furlong. I think I watched those, but I was I was not a fan of them. They were okay, but just didn't really do as much as as the first two. The first two were just the first one was amazing. The second one, I still really enjoyed it. I, I like the visual of it. It's really, really cool. I think there's a whole production horror story about it, which you can check out. Uh, and Skarsgård was in the, the It movies, which were huge hits. And apparently, uh, he also voiced a character in The Eternals. I think he was the villain. I don't really remember, honestly. So he's been kicking around. I think it's kind of interesting. Um... Will this take off? I don't know. Are you excited about Bill Skarsgård? I think he's a great actor, but do you? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, there's a little bit more to talk about this because more people were cast as well, which makes me think this is really going through. FKA Twigs will join Bill Skarsgård in this. And what's fascinating about this girl, she's a British singer and dancer. She starred in Honey Boy with Shia LaBeouf, who was her boyfriend, and she accused him of some really bad things, that he was very abusive to her, and I think he sued her. So um, that should have no bearing on whether or not she's going to be a good actress, but I think she actually has like a, a kind of look that would fit with the role. I think it'll be kind of exciting if she's in it. She's going to play like the girlfriend fiancé. They're saying that it's not going to be the original movie, but it's going to be a reimagining, and uh, I don't really know exactly how it's all going to go. I would like to see it be a little bit different, but, I mean, the casting doesn't seem bad. I, Bill Skarsgård's very emotive. He has a very pliable face. I think he could do a lot with it. I think FKA Twigs, she might have the look that works for it. So, fingers crossed. This could be a good thing. I don't really know what to make of all of this. I think it's, there's possibilities. Let me know what you think. I, I, I honestly don't know, but I'm a huge, super duper fan. <laughs> I have crow posters, you can't see them in here, but I've had a crow poster on my wall for the longest time. I think I still have one around here somewhere. And uh, absolutely love Brandon Lee and that performance, just absolutely uh, spellbinding. So check it out if you haven't seen it anyway. And uh, give the second one a, re a revisit because it really is a better, you know, minus the terrible editing and what they did to it. It still has, there's the there's a soul of a movie in there that's really good. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. This is just an update from me. Make sure to catch our full-length audio podcast Friday nights. 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m., and come stream with us. Come hang out. We do. We have a live chat that we interact with a lot. And then you can also subscribe for free. The, the audio podcast is available everywhere, iTunes, Spotify. If you want to talk to us, talk to us on Instagram, orc underscore you, and give us a shout there as uh, we do some more stuff that I hope you like. And uh, as for me, I'm out to the next one. Ah.